When you say yes to others, you say no to yourself. I just want to let that sink in a little bit. When you say yes to others, you say no to yourself. This was something that I saw on a YouTube video very recently, and it's something that has stayed with me ever since I watched that particular video. Because how often do we in life say yes to social invitations, say yes to extra work commitments, when deep down we don't really want to or we can't really do it because we're already really busy. I had this situation at the weekend actually because I spent all of Sunday in my pyjamas putting the finishing touches to my Salerno travel guide, which I launched this week. In case you're interested, I'll put the links below in the show notes. But essentially, I've created this digital travel guide all about Salerno. And it's taken me about four weeks to do. And I recently went back to Salerno to just make sure that all my information was still up to date, um, as it had been two years since I left. And I was so in the flow on Sunday, like, you know, I was all about just getting this guide done because I had this deadline to finish it in May. And then we received a social invitation to do something. And it was very lastminute.com, as is typical pretty much here in the south of Italy. And I knew that I just didn't have time to do it because it would be at least an hour because it was one of those occasions where you couldn't just go and then kind of leave pretty much straight away. It would be more rude to do it in that way. And so I literally had to say, I'm sorry, I can't, I'm busy. Now, I think maybe the people might've been a bit disappointed that um, I didn't go, but this is one of those moments because I knew if I said yes to the invitation, I would be saying no to myself, to the things that I needed to get done and to my own goals and objectives. Because there's something that we all need to remember. As a human species, we are entirely selfish. Now, it doesn't matter if you do really kind things and you are very patient and loving. Deep down intrinsically, we are only ever interested in our own needs and goals. And so when people ask things of you, It's usually with their own needs in mind and they're not necessarily thinking about what you're doing or if you're even able to come along or participate or help whatever the situation might be. And so when you think of it like that, you realize it's even more important that you honor your own commitments and beliefs and requirements than ever before. And it's something that I think a lot of us fail to do. We, especially when it comes to projects or kind of working on like a side hustle or something that you want to create or do, we begin, but then we let the distractions of other people and of life interrupt us and we never ever truly get started. We make a little tentative effort and then things just kind of get sidetracked and it's left to one side. And so I really think it's about being conscious of this principle only saying yes to things that you truly want to say yes to. It's not easy because I feel like in society, we live in a society where people expect yeses. They're not accustomed to hearing the word no. But no is a complete sentence. It doesn't require a long explanation unless you really want to give one. But it is one of the most important words ever because it ties into boundaries, which is what I spoke about in a previous episode, Are You a Doormat?, go back and listen to that if you want to explore this topic a bit more. But essentially it's so important because no is not going to make you any friends, but it is going to make you be respected and also make you feel so much better, which in turn is going to mean that the people that are in your life are the right people for you. Because let's face it, if you say no to somebody and they become offended or upset, then how much did they really respect you or understand you in the first place as to why you weren't able to to do something, you know, there's always that kind of perspective as well. And I kind of feel that like, you know, our goals and our objectives should be our primary focus. And there's a lot of books that I've been reading at the moment that talk about focus and talk about the fact that you have to prioritize. And if you don't do something, it means that it's just not important enough for you. And I couldn't agree more with this principle. I really believe that if you really want to do something, you would do it. And if you don't, 
you're not that interested in doing it. It's the truth. And so when people try to distract you, even if it's well-meaning, even if it's something really, really lovely and kind and wonderful to do or to experience, you have to have that kind of self-discipline to understand how are you going to feel at the end of it? Are you going to wish that you'd completed what you were doing before? Are you going to regret the fact that you spent time in that way? Or are you going to be happy that you actually said no in order to finish what you needed to do to then have the free time and mental capacity to spend more time with people in the future when you don't have other pending commitments, you know, like this is it really. And I think sometimes it can come across as really harsh, especially here in Italy, especially here in the South of Italy, where everybody is very laid back, lastminute.com, plans are made almost spontaneously. And whilst I think that can be really magical sometimes, certainly the most amazing experiences I've had here have been planned in the moment. I also believe that, you know, it's hard to live your life like this when you have goals and things that you want to achieve because that requires planning and that requires you to be disciplined enough to turn down invitations and social events in order to do what you need to do and achieve your objective, which in turn will free you up to enjoy those experiences with more headspace because you're not thinking about all the things that you have to do. So I think sometimes it is a complete mindset shift to have this kind of attitude living here in Italy. It's definitely something that I have brought here from the UK for sure. Um, I've always been a bit like this, even when I was in the UK. And I'm glad in a way that I've been able to maintain this attitude here in South Italy. But it's not easy because, as I said before, people don't like to hear the word no. People can be disappointed. The wrong people can be offended because people who really know you would always understand. And I feel like, you know, you can feel guilty. You can feel so much guilt about saying no. But in the long run, people who really know you, respect you, understand you will always have your back and will always be there and support your decision if they can see that you're doing something different instead with your time. And so that was the situation that I was in at the weekend. And I'm happy that I said yes to myself because it meant that I've been able to achieve one of my goals that was in my 12 week year for this second quarter. And I'm so happy because it was the sole reason why I went back to Salerno. Apart from filming updated content, it was to work on this travel guide. And I've actually done what I said I was going to do. And that alone makes me feel so good. So that's the message for me today to you. I'm going to repeat the words from that wonderful YouTube video that inspired this episode. If you say yes to others, you say no to yourself. Are you really okay with that? I'll see you in the next episode.